What is going on, guys? It's Josh with the Pride Productions back in Unreal Engine 4, starting off a new tutorial series. We're going to talk about Quixel's Mega Scans photorealistic library. That's right. All kinds of assets and materials that they have released for free to all UE4 users. And you got to get your hands on them. You literally go to the UE4 marketplace and type in the word Mega Scans, and my God. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So there's all kinds of stuff. So get it, download it. You see the word free? It's everywhere. I'm freaking out. Now, this was a couple months ago, but it's time to touch on it. Now, listen, I got a little material here set up, but what we're going to do today. Is we have a lot of stuff to talk about when it comes to mega scans. We're going to try to create some really realistic environments, and I'm going to show you just a couple clean tricks over time. It's going to take a few tutorials, like always, but check it out. Inside my DP folder, I have one of the mega scan assets here, okay? And when it comes, it's the mesh, and it'll come with a few materials here. Now, I have the whole pack downloaded in here, okay? But the whole thing is this is in the DP folder, so I'll show you how this works in a minute. Well, what we're going to do is let's, let's drag this rock into our world. And I'm going to set it to about five, even though it only needs to be that big, you know, but we'll set it to five so we can fly around it and see it. And boom, now we got this rock. Now let's just be honest for a second. This is pretty high quality stuff. Pretty high quality stuff. We can probably agree on that. Uh, very detailed 8K textures. You can see these over here, 8K textures. And I mean, it, it is not playing around. Very, very photorealistic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's dragged up to meeting the ground perfectly. We're pretty good. That that will we'll go down a little bit. You see that seam, that line there. I don't like that. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk, talk about it deep, okay? So what we're going to do. We're going to double-click on the material that's applied to it. Now, if you pay any attention, it says, well, you can't see it, but it's a material instance. So it's going to open up like this, and you're going to have all your different things you can do because what they've created is a master material, okay? Now, we're not going to do that today, but I want you to take a look at what they've done. We're going to talk about it soon. If you go to the parent and double-click, it'll actually open the material they've created, and this is what they've done. So their texture and everything are all parameters, so you can change them on the fly. So they have everything set up here. Their albedo, which is your, you know, your, your, your base color or whatever, the metallic, blah, 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 blah. So eventually we'll explain, I'll explain exactly how this is going on. But for now, to keep things simple, I want to show you how you can build the same material almost exactly like it's super easy. Now theirs looks good. Let's, let's just be honest, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad baby, hold alt while, while this thing's selected, drag another one over here, okay? Now let's right click over here and create a material real fast. I'm going to name it rock. <coughs> I'm gonna name it Rock, bro. Did you hear me? I, I didn't. I didn't. That's not. That's not what I said. That's that's not what I said. Rock. Okay. Now double click. Let's let's drag that bad baby onto the rock. And as you can tell, it looks gross. That's perfect. Okay. We want the gross. Now let's double click on Rock. Drag that baby up. What? UE4 should know how we do by now, bro. But it don't. Not today. Now the thing is, all I'm gonna do is if you if you pay attention here, there's four textures we need to grab. You got the normal, the displacement, the roughness, and the albedo or base color or diffuse or however you want to call it. We're gonna we're gonna drag all four of these over to our material. And I got my ball. Okay, you know I love them. Now the thing is, we're gonna drag all these around here. We got the base collar. We need this one is the displacement. I'm actually not gonna use the displacement today. I'm gonna delete it. We just have our three here. I'm gonna put the roughness in the middle. Now here's what we're gonna do. Let's plug the texture sample here of the, the, the albedo, and you can see it right here. When, it, when it's selected, you'll see it right here, albedo, into the base color. We click on this. It says roughness, so we're going to plug it into roughness. They've really done a lot of the work here for you, obviously. And, and, well, and this happens a lot, but still, Mega Scans is awesome. They're amazing. Just, you just check this out over time. The point is now, let's plug our normal right into normal. And that's all we're going to do for now, okay? That's all we're going to do, and I'm going to save it, and we're going to go back out to our material, and we're going to com compare what we've created just now simply to the big master material that they've created, okay? Now, as you can tell, there's theirs, and here's as ours, and my God, it's almost the exact same thing. Now, if you dig deep, and I'm talking deep, we haven't set up, you know, we, we probably need to set the metallic parameter. We probably need to set up the, the tessellation a little bit, you know, but, but my God, guys, I mean, this is a pretty freaking good start. Let's give it up one time for Quixel making everything freaking insanely good looking. You know what I'm talking about? My God, 8K photo scan textures and stuff, stuff I don't got a camera to do, okay? I don't have that camera. Now, the point is we can still do a couple things, and that's what I want to talk about. But think about how easy it was to create a material, and boom, it's on there. Mega Scans Quixel is doing a lot of the work for you, but the thing is you may want to make some changes, and you may want to end up making your own changes, blah, blah, blah. So this is how you can do it now. Well, let's go back into rock real quick and do two things. One, we're going to drag these out of the way, and we're going to set the metal to zero. And we should have done that to begin with. So we're going to put a zero. We've done this before, but let's just be honest. There's nothing metal about grass and rocks. Literally nothing. Now, if they're wet, you may want to, we may want to set some stuff. But we're going to just make sure, make sure there's no metal. And I don't see any. Now, let's talk about one thing. 
this is the seamless line here. This is something I want to help you fix. Now, you got to be careful doing this, but this, this, obviously, this may not be like a really good example of a texture meeting a texture. Let's just be honest. This would not exist here. Maybe this ground would have more of this look. But the point is, you may still get this line, this seam, and we want to get rid of that. And we can to an extent. So check it out. Let's go back into rock. And this is a, this is a trick I learned actually from watching UE4 Epic themselves talk about this. I want you to right click and I want you to type in the word dither. Now you're going to see dither template AA. And we're going to plug that into pixel depth. No. No, don't do it. It's too late. Did you do it? Did you do it already? Don't do it. You got to plug it into a multiply first. If you did it, I'm sorry. But anyway, plug the multiply into pixel depth offset. Now, whatever number we create here by holding the number one and plugging it in, that's going to be, that line is going to seamlessly fade and transition like a sharpness. So what we want to do is so we can affect it quickly, let's right click this and create a parameter. I'll just name it dither. Dither, brah. We'll leave it at zero because I'm not scared. I'm a little scared, okay? I'm a little bit scared. I'm not a lot scared. It's a tad bit of scaredness. Okay, scared, scaredness. Now let's go back. What we'll do is since we created a parameter, you know how we do it back in the day? We'll take rock and we'll right click it and create a material instance. And we'll apply this bad baby to our material. Now we can see that rock inst is applied, which means we can double click and drag this bad baby down a little bit. Let's go back in the right window here. And here's our material instance. We'll move away over here a little bit. Up, up, up. Come on, baby. Get on over. Here. Get on over there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Let's 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 put you right here. Let's put you right there. You know what? That's fine. Let's put it right here and we can we can kind of just shrink the window. You know what I'm talking about? Shrink it down a little bit. Now we want to just be able to make sure we can see this line. And here's dither, right? We created that. And again, we didn't have to make the material instance. We could have, we could, you know, I'm just showing you how quick we can do this. Let's let's turn dither on. Now let's set to zero. Now watch what happens as I slowly scroll up here. Okay. You see what's going on here? Okay. Okay, we're kind of fading into it. Now, obviously, this is way too much. Oh, God. And what happens if you keep going? Oh, God. And then, uh, uh, yep, and now it's broken. So now what you've done is you've, if you've, you've created sort of a mess, you know what I'm talking about, because what's happened now is, and you can keep going. We can, we can really, really, really go up to where it almost doesn't exist at all. But the point is, bring it back down. You can see what Dither is doing is it's fading the texture based off the pixel depth of what's behind it. Okay? So I'm going to set it all the way back down to zero because my computer is scared. Now, what I usually do is set it to about 20, okay? Now you can see it's kind of fading a little bit of the mesh too up there. But you can see the seamless, we, we've gotten rid of that seam to an extent. Now let's play with it, okay? We got, we got the original here, right? And we have this one. Let's set it, here's my number, I'm not gonna lie. I set it to three, okay? Now what we've done is we barely, barely have a seamless change there, okay? So if I'm, if I'm not clicking on it and, we, and we, we put that bad baby down there, what we have now is I have, if I look at it from about right here, let's, let's get right here on this angle right here. You can easily see this seam. You can easily see it. And again, the textures do not match and you wouldn't do this regularly, but the point is it's there. But if I go here and look at this one, that seam is not near as hard. So you can imagine how good it would be if the textures actually coincided with each other correctly instead of my trash, this trash I've been creating, okay? But the point is, that's, what, that's all it took. You literally just dither, temporal AA, you dither, to an extent, you decide, you could just go in here and not even do that. You could just set it to the number three and set it and be done. But you can imagine how easy or helpful this would be when you have some, when you have, you know, some issues with things having a really hard seam. And again, we can go back into it and just sit here and scroll it up until we're happy. If you want a little bit more on another object, a little bit more. But again, be careful because I'll know. You just start destroying your object. You got to be very, 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 very careful with it. And again, guys, one more thing I just want to say. We will eventually, if you open up the old one, oh, opened up theirs there, and I opened up their parent, which is the master material, we're going to go over exactly how to create this just in case you want to keep it super simple and we understand what's going on. Because what they've created here is an incredible, an incredible, powerful material instance that literally every texture can be taken in and out, and you can change the tiling and everything. There's a lot going on, and we are going to discuss it. So, guys, I just wanted to show you that you could easily, quickly, if you're in a hurry, if you have a different way to do things, or just, you know, kind of, I don't want to say cheap way, but this actually, just plugging these three textures in, setting our metallic to zero just for this, just for this material, and then setting up a little dither for our own personal you know, our own personal loveliness. You know, we're, we want to get rid of them seams, bro. I mean, look at that. That's, that, that, that is, I'm very happy with that. And again, it could still be adjusted, but I'm much happier with that. There's no doubt about it. But the point is, with those three textures and just a tad bit of work, we have the material set for this bad baby and it's ready to go. So there's still nothing wrong. We're just throwing your three, one, two, and three, and even displacement if it's necessary, but one, two, and three textures in the material, and boom, you got a solid looking Quixel mega scanned, photo scanned, photo realistic asset material 
with textures. There's a bunch of words there. I'm not sure if it was necessary. But I love you guys. I miss you. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, to Pride Productions. I hope this was helpful at all. I know it's extremely simple, but we got a lot to learn. So now that you understand what we're talking about, we'll dive deep into it next tutorial. Mega scans. Get some of that free stuff. It's a lot of space. It's a lot of gigs. You know what I'm saying? You're not, it's not going to be one or two gigs. It's going to be 20 per pack. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at hundreds and hundreds of gigs of stuff, thousands and thousands of assets. We're going to talk about adding the plugin up here, the Mega Scans plugin, uh, Bridge, and all that great stuff. And it's going to show you how easy it is to use their stuff. But this does take a pretty powerful PC unit as well, guys. So just letting you know, this is some higher end stuff, okay? I don't even know how far I'll get with it, okay? So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We're about to dive into a new tutorial series. I know I'm just kind of, you know, dipping my toe in the water here. We just got a lot to learn, but I wanted to break it down simply for you really quick. A lot to learn. Please check out these mega scans, man. They're free. They're yours. If you are if they if you are a UE4 user, these are yours. So please hit up Deprived Productions YouTube channel. Hit up Deprived Productions on Facebook. Hit up Deprived on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Check us out. Love us. We love you. Miss you. See you next time. Peace.